Phone 11 launch might be months away but the rumor mill is already in overdrive, with the latest news revealing that Apple's iPhones could become something of a Brexit game changer for thousands of EU citizens in 2019. As first reported by NFC World, UK Home Secretary Sajid Javid has announced that Apple has finally agreed to allow the iPhone's NFC chip to read passport security data, thereby making the government's EU exit ID document check app available to iOS users for the first time. Previously, Apple restricted its iPhone NFC chip to reading NDEF data, so the app was only available to Android users. That means that 2019's iPhone 11 will be the first new Apple device to launch with the ability, though it's likely to come to older iPhones by way of an iOS or firmware update. This is huge news for EU citizens living in the UK with the prospect of Brexit still looming. The EU exit ID document check app allows users to confirm their UK residence by scanning their passport or identity card chip and then verifies it via facial recognition technology adding all details gleaned to their application to remain in the UK in a post-Brexit scenario. Prior to this announcement, Japanese Apple blog Mako Takara reported that Apple is preparing to not only release iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, and iPhone XR updates, but also bolster its 2019 iPhone lineup with the addition of new 6.1-inch and 6.5-inch models. Citing anonymous sources in Apple's supply chain, the site says that the new 6.1-inch and 6.5-inch iPhones will be the ones to feature the most premium specs, including OLED displays, reverse wireless charging and a triple camera system, they'll also be thinner than the other three devices in the iPhone 11 range, as well as coming bundled with fast 18 watts lightning to USB-C chargers. The move would certainly be a surprising one, given Apple currently sells 7 iPhones, so the introduction of five new ones in 2019 would nearly double its offering, though presumably some of these current iPhones would be sent to the digital bone orchard following the introduction of the new devices, it also suggests that the off-rumored iPhone Pro could finally become a thing in 2019, though at what cost we dread to think. Please help me by sharing this video, and your click on the like button means a lot to me, and don't forget to subscribe on the channel and to click on the bell, to be notified with the latest uploaded video, thanks a lot for your time.